DIY. <laughs> it's DIY Bella because Bella. Stop. Okay. Because Bella is a Bella is a DIY move. So watch me make this DIY chocolate. Bye. So, what you want to take is, you can either take cardboard from a box, or take it from the back of a picture frame. I just used it from the back of a picture frame that I'm not using, and you want to use the really smooth side if you do use that. It was hard to get out, so I like, at first I was trying to cut it, and then I noticed that I could just break it, so I broke it. Like with this so it's really weird. So I have this. It's like I just opened it really far. So right now I'm gonna like clean up the edges and all that. So but I'm gonna leave it right edges ratchet. And the other thing you can use one of these or you can use an exacto knife or an exacto knife or scissors. And then you'll need chalkboard paint. And then you'll need a paintbrush, of course. So right now what I'm going to take is this really smooth side and I'm going to take the paint okay. I'm just going to pour some in the lid okay. I think that's enough, that should be enough, if it's not I'll get more you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna just start painting it like that. And if you do one stroke one way, don't do it like you have to go like this and then this. You have to keep it going one way. It won't mess it up. It's just it, if you write on it, it kind of won't be really nice writing. It'll just be really weird and messed up. If you want, you can lay a newspaper down or whatever. Keep your desk from getting dirty or whatever you use. You have to do a couple coats of this. Like, it's really like. You can see it's blotchy, so you're going to do another coat. And on the second coat, you can do your lines straight up and down. Like, you don't want to go like this, you just want to go like this. Keep it going, like, don't go like that. It'll just, like, completely ruin it. So... Kind I the kind of paint I have does not take that long to dry. It takes like a couple minutes, but you're going to dry, let it dry extra extra long to make sure before you actually try drying on it. So I need more paint. Because, like, a couple spots, like, are, yeah, you can see it more, like, here, like, so. This, my second one is mostly dry for the most part. So. I think I, it's because, I don't have that much, it's because I used a lot at the first one. And... some off the edges so this is messy you can't you should and probably will need parents help or parent supervision or at least ask before you do this because 
I don't want to get any of my subscribers in trouble. Because that would really suck. Because then you can't watch my videos. I'm not even sure if this will upload. My upload January. I don't know. Because one of my videos I meant to upload in like January. And it didn't upload in forever. One, like I did what I got for Christmas. And it never uploaded. So I'll have to do. I still have it on my phone too. Oh my gosh, you see that on my desk. How does it look actually, actually clean it? This looks pretty good to me. And once like all these coats dry, you can do another coat just to be safe if you would like. Unless your eyes are ruined. So it's not coming out, so I just have to take it like this. Okay, I'm done. Now you just want to get like, a wipe or something and wipe your hands off because you don't want to have this stuff on you. I don't know, it's cool tomorrow, so I guess I can wash my hands in my bathroom. And actual soap and all that. But for now, I'm just going to do this to get as much off as possible. And clean up your area while it's is drying. Yeah. My desk is like turning black. I also have another idea that I was gonna do. I was gonna actually do it on my desk. Then I thought like, eh, if I'm moving, it's gonna get scratched, and I don't want that to happen. So. You decided, I just decided to leave them cardboard. And if something does get on it, don't worry, just let it be, it's fine. It really doesn't matter if it gets on it. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll get back to you guys when it's dry. Okay, so I just threw on a sweatshirt because, and my big one is dry mostly, except for like the edges, but, who cares? Let's write on it. So I have me some white chalk. What do I want to... Okay. I really hope this works. Ah, you guys can't read it. But it's... I'm scared to wipe it because I'm scared to wipe it all off. Ooh, I didn't think about that. I just need an old dry cloth or something. Alright, a dry paper towel is what I'll use. Alright. It came off pretty well. I'm just gonna dampen it by going like this. There. Oh my gosh. That's so scary. There. It came off mostly. I like it. I'm gonna use it to write my school in. 
you to do homework. Like, hiccups. I'll write it so you guys can see it. <laughs> so, if it were... <laughs> I'm confused. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. So if I write it like I'm so scared. One day I'm going to be wiping it off and it's going to wipe completely off. And then I'm just going to be left with a piece of cardboard again. So there is a DIY chalkboard. I literally found this yesterday. It's been about 10 minutes. I say you have to let it dry for... 15 because it's still very wet right there and a little bit wet on a certain spot. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like. Hold on. Like. Subscribe. I think I forgot the E. I don't know. I think I even spelled that wrong, but whatever. <laughs> Buddy. I love this DIY. Okay.